Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Today we're going to be testing the knot strength difference between two popular fluorocarbon leaders. Both of these are Seaguar. One is blue label, the other one is red label, which is their original. This blue label is marketed as the stronger of the two. We actually tested the abrasion resistance and, and it turned out that that was true, but just barely. Um, but we're going to go ahead and test the knots to see if there's a bigger discrepancy on knots. So how we're going to do that is we're basically going to just tie, uh, tie both lines together and tie multiple knots on each strand and then pull until the weakest one breaks. So I'll show you, I'll show you what we have here. So the blue, blue label is going to start out on that side, red label on this side. And what I've done is I have a swivel tied to, this is a short strand of blue label, and here I have my favorite loop knot, that is most likely what's going to break. In the middle between the blue label and the red label we have a three turn surgeon knot which is a very strong knot, that should not break. And then on this other end we have this same exact loop knot on the red label line as we do back over here on the blue label line. And so if we continue over uh, this way we have, and this is 20 pound line too, but the red label and blue label are both 20 pound lines. This line here is just a, it's like a 60 pound leader, so this will not be breaking, at least I sure hope not. And at the very end, we have a scale. So I'm gonna be able to, to see at what pound breakage the, uh, the breaks occur, so that we can then you know, see at the end, you know, really how consistent they were, and more importantly, you know, if one is better than the other, we'll be able to know a pretty good idea of, of how much better it truly is. All right, just one quick thing before we do this test. I just wanted to let you know that I'm not affiliated with any line company. It doesn't help me financially if you buy uh, one brand versus the other. You know, we're testing Seaguar out. We're gonna be testing a lot more uh, other brands. And so it doesn't benefit me at all. I'm just trying to find just the, the line that has the best overall value so that we all can get, you know, the best quality line with the least amount of money expended. So we're gonna go ahead and get these tested and then we're gonna test some more coming soon. So that was about 15 pounds. And it looks like the red label, oh wow, the red label broke on the surgeon knot. I was expecting the loop knot to break, but anyhow, the red label did break. And if we pull this other line out, we will see that, um, oh wow, it broke in the middle of the surgeon. <laughs> that was basically a tie then. So um, the surgeon knot completely disintegrated. So uh, we can uh, basically call that one a tie for now. And uh, I'll just tie, I'll do a four loop surgeon on this next one. It was 13 pounds or so. Oh wow, looks like the middle broke again. Let's see. Aha, so that was, that was a conclusive uh, red label broke. So right there in the middle. The cool thing about the surgeon knot is that it impacts both knots or both lines the same. And you can see that you know, whichever, whichever line has the, uh, the residue is the winner. That's, that did not break. So this was a clear uh, red label line broke. So we're gonna do it again. We're gonna switch the lines. I'm gonna put the red label on this side, blue, blue label on this side, just to make sure that that doesn't alter the, uh, the re re results. That was around 13 again. And this time, oh wow, the, the, uh, yeah, the red label broke. So this time the red label uh, broke over there right. Um, it was the loop part that broke. So that loop just disintegrated. Um, so that was, uh, that was a really short, I had a really short, uh, short line on it. So that loop gave way at about 13 pounds. Around 13 pounds again. So it looks like it broke in the middle. Let's go check out this other side. All right, so yeah, blue line one again. Oh, just, just lost the red, but yeah, blue line one again. You can see it broke uh, there right, right inside of the surge's knot. So uh, definite, you know, three out of three. I don't think it's worth uh, testing anymore. I'm gonna do one shock test just to see if there's any difference when I pull really fast. But yeah, so far this blue label is certainly, certainly the, uh, the stronger as far as knots. All right, so final test between these two lines. This is gonna be more of a shock test, so I'm just gonna go a lot faster. We have the red label this side, blue label this side. Let's see what happens. Well, wow, so that was uh, obviously a lot quicker there. So red label gave way. It, it broke at the, um, at the loop. So we'll go ahead and retrieve the line just to check it out. So yeah, that loop completely, uh, completely disintegrated. So there's no more loop there. It basically broke. Oh, it broke at the very top of the loop, and then uh, and then just completely fell down. So 
uh, red label is definitely weaker than the blue label. So we'll do one test on blue label. We're going to take it slow and see, we're going to test it against itself and see how strong it is, you know, see how strong the breaking point is. All right, so here's the final test. We're just going to be testing blue line. So this is a blue line against itself. It's the same situation, but blue line here, blue line there. And uh, we're just going to measure the, uh, the breaking strength to see what the difference is. The red label was breaking at about 13 pounds consistently, it seemed. And so we're just going to go ahead and pull on this and, and see what happens. So we're now at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, so we got uh, that was a little bit over 14 pounds. Let's see what broke. So yeah, it looks like uh, right there near the middle broke again. All right, so the results are in. This blue label definitely did perform better in terms of knot strength. And this was, that's how, actually how it was advertised. So that advertisement is good. It actually won all of them. So blue label won all of the head-to-head -head knot contests, whether we pulled it slowly or if we pulled it fast. I think that's probably gonna be the case. Some people mentioned in prior contests that pulling it fast might make a difference. Uh, so far, I've not seen that, but uh, we'll continue testing it just to make sure. So Blue Label was the winner. And as far as the difference, you know, this was break, Red Label's breaking at about 13 pounds, it seemed like. And then when we did the test on Blue Label versus Blue Label, it was 14 pounds, almost 14 and a half. So that's about seven to 8% better. So if I had to choose between these two to personally use, I will go with Blue Label because it just tested out to be stronger on both abrasion, on, on the actual abrasion and the knot strength. So it really won in all categories. And Seaguar actually says on their website that the visibility of fluorocarbon lines doesn't, doesn't change based on a certain one line versus the other because it says 100% fluorocarbon line as just as, as invisible as another 100% fluorocarbon line. So we have to assume that to be true, that the underwater uh, viewing of the line is the same. But so based on strength, of abrasion and on knots, Blue Label is the winner. But before I can claim it the ultimate winner, we need to test a lot more lines because there's a lot of other brands, a lot of other lines out there to, to try out. All right, and so if you have any particular lines you want us to test next, we can test it against this one or just, just have in future tests, leave a comment down below. Let me know, we'll pick up a lot of different lines. I wanna test really, hopefully them all out eventually and so that we can really uh, find you know, what's truly the most valuable line based on performance and not any kind of marketing hype. So if you want to get notified on future line contests, just register to our website, which is saltstrong.com. You're going to get uh, our knot contest, our line contest, and we have uh, fishing tips every single week. So look forward to seeing you there. Otherwise, yeah, thank you so much for your time and watching this video. I hope you can get on the water soon and catch some big ones.